guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Balmy Spirit. I'm Rodin. We're gonna be doing an energy shift reading today for Venus in Taurus and for Mercury retrograding through uh, back to Aquarius. So that happened on the 4th. It's a couple days later. I've been busy. <laughs> I've been moving. I'm having a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I'm doing work as I can. All right. And then you guys understand that. Does it? That's weird. Hold on a second. This was on the floor. I don't know how it got there. Because they haven't worked with this deck in a while. That's weird. Page of Swords. Hmm. Page of Swords is an analytical card. It's also a card of drama. It's a card of spying. It's a card of knowing. It's a card of communication as well. That's interesting. Hmm. I feel like you guys are going to be in a very analytical mode. Uh. Well, okay. Let me back up. First of all. This is going to be a time period of recovery, but for the purpose of getting shit done. So you're going to start with recovering physically, recovering spiritually, getting to a place of a nice balance, and then you're going to go into analytical shit. You're going to start uh, getting stuff into gear, getting stuff going, and then just putting shit into action, okay? But that's interesting that came out. We'll see if it comes out again. Anyway, so let's talk about uh, this energy that we're in, all right? So the first thing I saw was a panda. Pandas, to me, are about balance and prosperity. I feel like this is a time where you guys might feel a little isolated. You might feel like not really a big need to interact with a lot of people, really focusing on yourselves. There's also an energy of, like, needing to feel good, right? Venus and Taurus usually leans on that. When Venus is in Taurus, if you're using that shadowy, uh, in the shadowy way, it tends to lean into intoxication or overindulgence, substance abuse, substance abuse, excuse me, um, or spending too much money. So be mindful of that if you're leaning into that in a shadowy way. If you're using it in a healthy way, you know, you're probably just like, damn, I need to eat greens. Damn, I need to go to the gym or I need to sleep more. Like really taking care of yourself. Please listen to your body at this time. If you need to sleep, sleep. If your body wants to eat, eat, but try to eat clean. Of course, right? As always, try to eat clean. Uh, if you need to like move around, move around. Please pay attention to your body. Whatever your body wants to do, put that first right now. And like I said, there's going to be this energy of not really wanting to interact with people because you're going to be sitting in this. And a lot of people are going to be sitting this in this. This is a time of recovery. This is a time of balance, making sure we feel good, making sure we're ready, making sure that our T's are crossed and our I's are dotted. I know that's not how you say that. I think it's the other way that you say it that way. Especially with Fulman and Virgo coming up, which I'll be talking about tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific. So please check that out. I feel like this is getting us ready for April, okay? April is going to be a very high, uh, high paced, high paced? Where are my words? Fast paced, high energy month. Huh? <laughs> okay? Where we're going to be doing a lot of shit. April's going to go by really fast, guys. It's going to go by really, really fast. I think that's why this is all going on right now, so that we can be ready for that. Yes, Mercury's retrograding until the 9th. When it goes direct, we have post shadow until the 29th. It's not a bad thing. I say this all the time, retrogrades are beneficial. The reason I talk about astrology so much is so you guys can be aware and use this energy to your advantage. When we have retrogrades, no matter what planet it is, when we have retrogrades, it's a time for us to reflect on something so that we can actually learn from it and get better at it or get better at that aspect or handle something in a way that we wouldn't have handled it before. It's a time to grow, right? So any retrograde that comes up, think to yourself, what am I going to learn in this retrograde? <laughs> Because you're going to learn something. I can guarantee you, you're going to learn something. Whether it's a small lesson or a big lesson, you're going to learn something, okay? Uh, we have retrogrades for Saturn and Jupiter and Venus coming up in May. So the rest of March is going to be getting calibrated, getting balanced, making sure we feel good, making sure we're taking care of ourselves, making sure we're ready to pounce and go and like run a race, like run a sprint, okay? April is going to be that sprint. I've been tapping into April for the last few months. Every time I tap into it, it's like it doesn't exist. It's like it's gone. Whatever's going on in April, it's going to go super fucking fast, okay? So just be aware of that. And then when May comes, we have those big retrogrades coming, and they're going to be back to back to back. We're adding the pre-shadow energy for that. I think it's the 11th, the 13th, and the 14th for Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. Not in that order, because I can't remember which one's on which day. It all happens in the same week, Okay. Yeah, no, it's going to be intense. Uh, and then we're going to have some slowing down in those aspects of our life where those um, planets will be transiting through. And I'll be talking about that with the full moon in Virgo tonight. Anyway, so it's just getting us ready for April for then we're going to have a slowdown in May. That's it. All right. Coming back to this current energy. <laughs> Coming back to Venus and Taurus and Mercury retrograding through Aquarius. Um, 
like I said, there's also an energy of reflection here and recovery. So while some of us are really focusing on making sure we feel good, getting ourselves together, getting our shit together, there's also a need for protection. I was also getting that pretty heavy. Making sure you're protecting your energy and uh, reserving. Reserving your energy. You might feel really tired right now, and that's for a reason. Okay, you're feeling tired to literally slow yourself down, to take care of yourself, um, also to be aware of anything you need to reflect on before it's too late to reflect on it and then you're thrown into the fire of April, okay? Um, also be aware, you know, go, we're going galactic for a minute. Parasites are very aware of everything that's going on, okay? <laughs> and in April, there's going to be a lot of networking, there's going to be a lot of merging, a lot of collaborating, a lot of meeting people, a lot of stuff getting done and getting started. It's going to be a fun month. It's going to be fast, but it's going to be fun. Uh, you might feel more pressure from parasitic energy, even right now, that's going to increase the closer we get to April, okay? You might feel like your social network's been affected, your dynamics of people have been affected. You might even feel like your uh, electronics have been affected. You might even feel like your energy's being affected. Just make sure you're protecting yourself the best way you can, um, which is also by taking care of yourself. And I'm not going to talk about the big thing that like a lot of people are afraid of right now because it's I'm not going to feed that fear, okay? But don't feed into that fear. Don't feed into fear ever, okay? <laughs> Try not to. Try not to feed into fear. Fear is not is not a very constructive energy to be in. I'm not the kind of person that's going to be like, you need to be love and light all the time. I'm not that kind of person. If you feel angry, you feel angry. If you feel irritated, you feel irritated. We are having a human experience at the end of the day. Feel those emotions, and then let it go. Don't repress it. Don't try to fight it. If you're feeling something, just let yourself feel it. But with fear, fear is really not constructive for anything. It's literally a good way to control people. That's all it is. So that's all I'm going to say on that because I know you guys have been asking me about it. Just don't feed into fear and just take care of your bodies and you're going to be fine. I can promise you, you're going to be fine. All right. Anyway, so that being said, we're like seven minutes in. I've just been talking, 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 talking. Let's pull some cards to see more about this energy, okay? Mm. Now in getting balanced and calibrated here, taking the time out, right? It feels, it doesn't feel quite like a four swords, which, four swords, which to me is mental recovery. This to me feels more like four cups, like soul recovery a little bit. Like, yeah, you're getting the batteries recharged because you're getting them put in place. You're getting things to be at their ma maximum capacity for the next month or so. Like, that's what a lot of us are doing, which means that we are isolating ourselves a little bit in order to do that, taking the time to do that. Don't feel pressure from people right now uh, to not do that. If you're feeling pressure from people, that's just, I feel like, parasitic energy, so be mindful of that, all right? But it feels very, like, cups to me. It feels like emotional recharge as well, okay? Some of you guys might feel... Um, how do I say this? Like, what's going to make you truly happy is not attainable. Some of you guys might feel that way. Just make sure you actually take care of yourself first and you might feel differently. Once you start feeling better, you might feel differently about what you can actually attain versus what you can't attain, what's not realistic. And if you have a big goal in mind, it's all about the baby steps, right? You can make anything happen if it's meant for you. It's all about the baby steps though, okay? Some of you might have also gotten too fixated on an idea to the point where it's paralyzing you. Also check in with yourself if you're experiencing that. Yeah, yeah. Check in with yourself if you're experiencing that because whatever you got fixated on, the fact that you're fixating on it, it's almost like you're looping because you're not really doing anything about it. You're not going for it. There might be other options right in front of you that you're not paying attention to because you're looping and getting fixated. Okay, that's for some, some of you out there. Oranges. Why am I seeing oranges? <laughs> it's so funny what they show me sometimes. Oranges. I'm seeing oranges. Uh, some of y'all need some vitamin C. I really think that's all that's about. I think you guys just need some vitamin C. And not for the thing that everyone's afraid of. I swear to God, if any of you comment on that. Sorry. Okay, sorry. That was my, that was my shadow coming out. My bad. Let me rein it in. Let me rein it in. Do not comment on that if you if you could help it. I just don't want to feed the fear, which is also why I'm not saying it, okay? Anyway. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy shift?
but oranges. I did see oranges. Oranges are yummy. Okay, my, you know, no reason to not eat them. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? What the fuck? Okay. I gotta go see what that was because that sounded like a major malfunction of something. Hold on, I'm gonna pause. Don't know what that sound was. Oh well. I was like, I think the refrigerator is about to explode. Anyway, <laughs> any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Why are they showing me this? They're, they're literally just showing me this. I feel like it's about alignment. Some of you guys might feel like you've fallen out of your practice, your spiritual practice, your meditative practice. Try to, you know, make that a point. Some of you guys are going to be feeling the need to do that anyway because of the energy that we're in. Um, if you're not feeling that, think about it. Just consider it. It'll make you feel better. It will make you feel good. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. I like this. We're getting out of fear. We're getting out of fear. Okay, I'm really liking this a lot. I feel like some of you guys are releasing yourselves. Um, it's almost like fear of making the wrong choices is what, actually what I'm getting with this. Fear of making the wrong choices. Some of you guys are also getting out of that trap of not feeling great. Some of you guys have actually literally felt trapped in some kind of way. Physically, emotionally, or spiritually confined. I'm hearing confined. You're breaking out of that energy. You're not afraid to make the wrong decision anymore. Some of you guys might struggle with this for a little while before you step into that breaking out of that fear some of you guys might still be in this fear for a little while okay any other messages for the collective regarding this energy wow seven of cups in reverse scorpionic energy yeah this is totally breaking out of the illusion of fear love this breaking out of the illusion of fear seeing things very clearly seeing things exactly for what they are And what your realistic options are. What's going to make you happy? What's really going to make you happy and not the things that you've gotten fixated on, not the things that maybe this will be it, maybe that won't be it. Things that you know will actually make you happy because it's part of who you are. And I don't know why they wanted me to say that. Because it's part of who you are. They want me to really emphasize that. Because it's part of who you are. The choice that you're making. And the path you're walking is what I just heard. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Ooh, three of swords, Libra energy. Yeah, I like, again, I'm just getting this like a lot about happiness, just sheer happiness. Some of you have been really uncomfortable with some of the choices that you've been, uh, so that you, that's been presented to you. Okay, I'll just say it like that. That's been presented to you. Paths have been presented to you. Some of you have started to question really who you are some of you really start to question the choices you've made thus far whatever's happening you're breaking out of that and i think it's because you're taking care of yourself to be honest i think it's because you're taking care of yourself um some of you there might be so, there might be a hard decision at play with this but you feel good about it people around you might not feel good about it it's a hard decision but you feel good about it all right people around you i don't think are oh sorry i don't know if i, sh I shut it the three swords <laughs> I said it. I wasn't sure if I showed it. Got so caught up in the energy. Yeah, Five of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. Some of you are being really hard on yourselves. Okay? Some of you were being really hard on yourselves. Some of you might continue to do that for a little while. You're not going to be hard on yourself anymore. Some of you are also understanding that, like, even if you feel like you've made quote-unquote mistakes, and are there really such things as mistakes, um... Well, no, there are, but we're not going to get into that. Um, it's based off the choices. Again, I'm getting the choices you made. 
The five minus a three, two, right? The two of swords, which by the way, the page of swords in this deck holds the two. Um, yeah, this is all about decisions. Some of you, I think, have been so hard on decisions you've made and you're like, well, I made them and now I'm here. I can make some more decisions, but let me really sit down, get balanced in who I am, balanced in my energy, get myself feeling good so I can understand what, what, the, what the right thing is for me. So I can really understand the thing that's really going to make me happy and feel good. You're going to start not being so hard on yourself. Again, I feel for some of you this might upset people around you. If it's upsetting people around you, I wouldn't be surprised if they're a little parasitic. Okay. Any other messages for the collective regarding this energy? I do feel like you're doing a lot of this alone, like in isolation or just away from people. Any other messages for the collective? Oh, that's a lot, but we'll take them. Wow, twos, twos, twos. Ooh, ooh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Don't mean to be dramatic. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be earth or fire. With the lovers, Gemini energy, three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Ooh, that felt right out of my hand. Capricorn energy, Queen of Pentacles, whoa, cups, 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 cups. Can be some Capricorn energy at play. Well, we know there are. There is. Where's my grammar? We know there is Capricorn energy at play from planetary aspects. Uh, but Cancerian energy can also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. This is a new foundation being built here. And I feel like there's an approach. Whether you're doing the approaching or, some, or someone's approaching you, there's an approach to this to build a new foundation. It feels very promising. It feels very promising. It's to build a foundation with someone where I feel like there's been a little bit of a loss or a misstep, a loss or misstep with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse over here. So like I said, keep in mind, it can be a vice versa energy, but I'm feeling like someone's breaking out of fear because they know what's going to make them truly happy, what truly makes them feel good. They're not being trapped in the illusion of fear or the what ifs, or maybe I made mistakes and I don't know what I'm doing. Getting reassured that you, you know what you're doing, right? The person who's going through this. With the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords in reverse, no longer being hard on yourselves about that, and then going into action mode. With the Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers, Three of Pentacles, this to me just screams uh, making a choice to start to start um, building a foundation. Three of Pentacles is that collaborative energy. Like I said, April's going to be a very big collaborative month, so most of March is probably going to be this energy, right? And then moving into April, that what we're getting carried into is going to be this energy, and then wanting to build with someone who's very nurturing, Wanting to build with someone who's also very healing. I'm also getting a lot of intuition off of this person. So keep in mind, this can be vice versa, but that's what I'm getting. One person's breaking out of their fear, approaching the other to build a new foundation um, after there's been some kind of a loss or a, or a faltering in someone's foundation or in someone's plan. I'm hearing plan. Someone's plan is not going as, as planned. <laughs> I can't think of another word. Someone's plan is not going according to plan, all right? Overall energy, we have the two ones in reverse, Aries energy. Ooh, what did I say about the twos? And we have the two, again, with two of cups, Cancerian energy, soulmate energy. Interesting. With the six of swords underneath that, Aquarian energy. Ooh, and then we've got the tower. That feels good, though. This feels positive. I think towers are always positive, though, to be honest, but this feels really good. It feels like a good tower moment. It feels like a realization, a breakthrough. I'm hearing breakthrough. Someone's choosing to deal with a soulmate. Someone's choosing to move towards a soulmate. Someone's choosing to work with a soulmate. And it's a breakthrough energy after being very indecisive, I think, because they've been stuck in the illusion of fear. So, like I said, March is going to be about getting balanced. March is going to be about recovery, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our spirit. They're really telling me spirit. Taking care of your spirit more than anything. But to take care of the spirit... You have to take care of the mind and you have to take care of the body. That is, and that's a lot of you've asked me what body spirit is. That's where I got body spirit from. It's body, mind, spirit. I think of it as the triangle. For a triangle to be as powerful as it, you know, a triangle is very powerful. It has the potential to be the most powerful symbol to be in my, in my personal opinion, because when you, it's made of three points. I know my words all over the place because it's made of three points. If all three of, this, of these three points are truly created equal, 
all of the energy from those three points are distrib distributed equally and they fortify each other to a point where it's nearly indestructible, okay? So if you have the body, the mind, and the spirit, this is just my, my thing. If you have the body, the mind, and the spirit and one of them is fal faltering, your power is, is not going to hold up to its uh, full capacity. But if all, if all those aspects are are good to go. If you're taking care of your body, you're taking care of your mind, you're taking care of your spirit, you can be fucking powerful, right? You really need all three to be right, to be at your fullest potential, okay? Um, anyway, so that being said, take care of your body, take care of your mind, take care of your spirit in March, and things are going to pan out really well moving forward into April. But I feel like this, this approach is not going to happen till probably at the end of March, beginning of April, I feel like the further we move out of the retrograde energy is when we're going to see more of these approaches going on here, okay? But for March, breaking out of fear, forgiving ourselves, really forgiving ourselves, and then we see that approach to building something, building something new, okay? Uh, we can clarify some of this. I don't feel the need to, but we'll clarify. Let's look at this. Let's look at the breaking out of fear. Uh, let's look at the Seven of Cups in reverse, because that's where the clarity is coming in, right? I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck. Time to put my cups in reverse. Play with the Seven of Cups in reverse for the collective regarding this energy. Cups in reverse for the collective regarding this energy. Oh, too many spirit. Toy with seven of cups in reverse. Death, scorpionic energy. I like seeing death here. Death to me is just a major transformation in this. Because breaking out of the, the illusion of fear, is how you say it, not fear of illusion. The Well, oh, that's interesting. The fear of illusion. That might actually be a legitimate fear that I can get behind. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. The fear of illusion versus the illusion of fear. Uh, huh, interesting. Anyway, I'm going to get off of that. I don't want to get fixated. Uh, breaking out of the illusion of fear requires a big transformation or at least a big pivot right a big pivot in your energy tell me about seven of cups in reverse for the collective regarding this energy page of wands in reverse holding back Ooh, lack of inspiration Lack of the motivation to create, lack of the fire, lack of the fire, lack of the desire. This illusion of fear or fear of the illusion. <laughs> to me, the fear of illusion is like the fear of the matrix almost, which is kind of interesting. I, like, I was, like I was saying, like really thinking about it, that can be a legitimate fear. I mean, it, the matrix is just the matrix, but you know what I mean? Anyway, I don't want to get like caught on the play of words, but uh, while someone's been stuck in the illusion of fear, someone's really lost their mojo like really lost their mojo. And I feel like there's been a lot of holding back on on wanting to take steps towards something. And like I said, this is a period of recovery. So that's okay if you feel like you're not taking steps right now. Get your shit together first before you try to create something, especially if you're trying to create something big. Just get your shit together first. But someone's really been holding back a lot on what they really want because their, their passion's been dying. Their inner flame's been dying. While someone's been stuck in the illusion, for some people, for some people, like if you're getting approached by someone, this could be someone who's literally getting out of the matrix or waking up. Okay. Cause I feel like someone's realizing whatever they think they've been passionate about, they really haven't been. There's no passion for it whatsoever. Time of the seven of cups in reverse for the collective regarding this energy. Yeah, Six of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. 
Yeah, I almost feel like it's illusion of what they really thought they were passionate for or what really mattered. They're like, oh shit, that doesn't matter at all. That doesn't make me happy one bit. That doesn't make me happy one bit. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So I have seven of cups in reverse. Yeah. Now we have the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy with the Ace of Cups. Someone's waking up to what is truly uh, in their heart. What's truly in their heart, what their soul's really about. Oh, shit. Someone's waking up to who they are. And when you wake up to who you really are, you break out of the illusion. You break out of the matrix. You wake the fuck up. You wake up. You wake up. That's how this person, whether it's you or the person that's doing, whoever's doing the approaching, whoever's doing the approaching, approaching in April, excuse me, waking up to who they truly are, what's really in their soul, what's really in their heart with the Ace of Cups right there. Over energy, we do have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. So again, being stuck, being stagnant while they're stuck in the illusion. With the Two of Pentacles in reverse, again, two's everywhere. Two of Wands, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords basically with the Five and the Three right there. In reverse, Capricorn energy, inability to make a decision. Like I was saying before, with the Five of Pentacles, feeling like a lack mentality, wanting the wrong things, Taurian energy. Yeah, whoever is breaking out of this illusion of fear, it's realizing they've wanted the wrong things. That the passion they thought they had wasn't real. Oh, God, that's big. And they've really been held back. They've been stuck. They've been stuck and they're like, oh, shit, this is who I am? Oh, shit, this is what really makes me happy? Oh, crap. And they go through a period of being hard on themselves for getting them getting themselves into the position that they're getting themselves into, right? But they're going to forgive themselves. They're going to forgive themselves for that. And then we go into... The approach. We go into the approach. Interesting. I like this energy. I do. I like it. That's a major shift in someone's energy. Major. To go from living in illusion, living in the matrix, wanting. want. It, that's what it feels like. It's almost like, I want this. I want this. I want this. I need this. I need this. But it's like, do you really? Do you really? You know what I mean? It's almost like someone blindly like, I want that fancy thing because I'm told I want that fancy thing. It feels like programming. That's what it that's what it feels like to me. It feels like someone's breaking through their programming and waking up to their fucking soul. Wow. I love it. I love it. I kind of pull more cards. I don't feel again, I don't really feel the need to. You know, I love the Galactic Heritage Heritage deck, so I might just have to pull some cards because I just can't help myself. <laughs> I just can't help myself. So let's go ahead and pull it. Let's go ahead and pull some. I'm just going to do a very quick, like very, very quick little like galactic messages, please. Again, I've, I I literally just saw, <laughs> I saw connections. I literally just saw connections being made. Yeah, there's going to be major networking going on. And again, I don't feel like it's now. I feel like it's going to be in April. It might start at the end of March. Wait. New Moon's going to be in Aries, right? Oh, yeah, New Moon's going to be in Aries. Ooh. Yeah, this might be around the New Moon time where we start to see people coming out of this, this hermity time, this time of recovery and getting balance and all that and going into being very proactive, being very alpha, very leader, very much like this is what I fucking want. You want this too? Let's make this shit happen. Yeah, I feel like the end of March, we're going to start seeing this. Then April, we're going to see the big... Uh, creative energy coming out from these networks that are merging. I really feel like it's networks. I want to say networks. Hubs. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting excited from what they're telling me. So... <laughs> uh, I'm just getting really excited. Hubs will be talking to each other. What do I mean by hubs? So, okay, no, I gotta stop shuffling for a second. So within the spiritual community, I mean, there's a lot of you that are new. There's a lot of you that have been around for a long time, right? We've had people waking up left and right ever since December and November. They've been coming in exponential waves, right? And now we're at the point where people are waking up so fast that they're kind of just like catching up, like doing the amount of work that took some of us 
years to do. They're doing it in months. So that's like, it's kind of intense, right? For some people. So there are people who focus on galactic stuff. There are some people who are thrown into galactic stuff. There's some people who are still kind of on like the spiritual side of things. And I was thinking about this earlier where it's like, I don't even like to use the word spiritual community anymore. To me, it's just very obviously a cosmic galactic community. And I feel like that's becoming even more, uh, what's the word? I don't want to say mainstream because that's not the right word. What's the word I'm looking for? Accepted, commonly accepted. So you have these hubs of almost like belief systems. That's, that's the best way to say it. I can't, I'm getting so excited now. These hubs of belief systems, these hubs of like little tribes, right, that have come together, that have woken up together, or maybe they haven't woken up together, but they found each other, right, doing their shit. Um, hubs that have never interacted before will start to interact. Oh, I'm getting so excited. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Guys, 2020 is going to be so fucking cool. Uh, yeah, hubs that like have their own beliefs or their own little thing kind of going on, uh, you know, as far as like cosmic, galactic, spiritual, whatever word you want to use, right, uh, is con aspects are concerned, are going to start interacting with other hubs that have their own thing going on. Let's pull some cards. Let's pull some cards. A lot of travel. Ooh. Feeling a lot of travel in 2020. Shifting the pieces around. I'm hearing shifting the pieces around. Hmm. Shifting the pieces around. Rejecting emotion. There's a past timeline that's coming up right now. 31 breaking down to a four. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, yeah, getting, I'm hearing getting comfortable with, with emotions. It's interesting too, because didn't I say this before? Um, I don't remember if I said this, maybe I did. I like, I'm always like, you know, jumping from timeline, timeline to timeline. I'm like, did I say that? I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I said it in that timeline. Anyway, um, you know, understanding that it's okay to be angry and all of that. And like, you just, ex you feel it and then you let it go right? Because it just, it just is, right? We're having that 3D human experience. I feel like that's what this is alluding to. Coming to the understanding of that versus like, uh, versus, oh, just don't be angry. Just don't be angry. Just don't be angry. I know that was something that's been prominent in the community for quite some time, but I feel like that's being phased out right now. I feel like that's what that's alluding to, being phased out right now. From the Zeta's past timeline. And then, did you notice 31 breaking down to four? Stability. Stability. That's what this whole year is about. Let's see. Healing crisis and purging. Orion, a present timeline. 56, bring it down to 11. We got a master number with that. Ooh. Ooh, why does this like make me a little sick? This makes me a little nauseous. I, I feel I feel like a dumping going on with this card. A dumping. Ugh. Like that's how it feels. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> like energy is being dumped out of me. Like, ugh. It doesn't oh that just made me dizzy actually. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Um like how I was saying there's quick awakenings. This feels like a very fast dumping of energy, dumping of emotions for the purposes of healing. Almost like Time's running out, so we got to do it now. Ooh. Yeah, that's what this is. For people who've really slow, like lagged on their work or people who are waking up kind of like later in the game or waking up really fast. Oh, God. Oh, that doesn't... That's like... It's, it's making me nauseous. I really don't like that. But that's what this is. It's almost like, yo, we're behind schedule. Get this out now. Get this out of your body now. Get to this acceptance point. Do it now. Do it now. That's how that, that's how that feels. Mm -hmm. Got another card out here. Let's see what else wants to come out. So now we have 
fluidity andromeda parallel timeline oh i like this yeah and it's interesting how i was saying um maybe i did say this maybe i didn't say this about water did i not say this but like four of cups versus four of swords i feel like i said this <laughs> i feel like i said this uh i don't know what's gonna be right now i like like I said, i'm like i'm jumping timelines left and right anyway that that watery energy that spirit energy versus like the four of swords versus like mental recovery it's like spirit recovery I, I swore I said this, but maybe I didn't. I swore I said this. Anyway, this, that's what that reminds me of, right? Fluidity. Water is what? It's fluid. It, it goes all over. It moves all over. It can penetrate to the deepest crevices of anything it needs to, right? It's, wa it's water. That's, that's just what it reminds me of with, with fluidity. Going through, again, with the emotions, uh, feeling it and letting it go, feeling it, letting it go, feeling it, letting it go. What are emotions? It's water yeah that's what i'm just that's honestly all i'm feeling with that but we'll read well, we're gonna read some of these anyway overall we have orion light future timeline true compassion i like this 107 that breaks down to an eight again definitely where we're headed to definitely where we're headed to i feel like this has been something that's been hard for a lot of people to kind of master along with the acceptance of what emotions are and to feel them and to not repress them and just to like experience them to experiencing to experiencing them and not letting it hold you up and just kind of letting that letting it flow through you fluidity letting it flow through you right and having true compassion even for people who can't do that first of all learn how to hold space sorry they're talking to me but holding space there are a lot of people here who have not learned sorry oh i feel like i just got very like dominant with you guys there are a lot of people who still don't understand how to hold space for people. That is also a, being able to live in a space of having true compassion. Because while someone's dealing with something, going through something, even if they're not dealing with it in the best of ways or it's hard for them and they're exhibiting all of these quote unquote, you know, just look at the image, right? These quote unquote toxic emotions, which are really just emotions, right? Being able to hold space for someone to do that kind of healing, right? Like I said, for some, there's like a massive, quick, eh, like purging dumping of energy to do very fast healing because we're behind schedule again this is for people who've been really held back holding themselves back or like really waking up late into the game here okay it's not gonna be for those who've been around for a while or those who've been really doing your work here but understanding that it's we can hold space for people who are really struggling with this even if they're lashing out even if they're acting crazy right so like for example there are a lot of people who are not dealing so well with things that are going on in the world right now, things that are going on around us right now, even people who are affected by parasites. We can have that compa compassion to hold space for them and to not judge them for that and to let them just do whatever it is they got to do and freak out without affecting our energy, right? This is something that we're stepping into. Some of us are learning to step into this, um, mm, but that's what I'm getting with that. That's what I'm getting with that understanding what it means to hold space and understanding what it means to have true compassion which is basically holding space now i'm getting repetitive so i'm just gonna stop um i do want to read some of this though where's my book i've got a pile of books here <laughs> hold on <laughs> uh i can't help it i like to read okay well let's read true compassion that seems like a really big theme for this one Okay. True compassion. True compassion is a deep recognition that all consciousness is part of a greater whole. Whatever one aspect experiences is experienced by this whole. Thus, when you see pain and suffering in the world, know that pain exists within you too. When you find pain within you and embrace it fully, the whole feels your love and compassion. At first, this may hurt because it is a natural... It is natural, not a natural, it is natural to try to shield yourself from the pain of another, but eventually the love you share will melt away the pain. The Orion light asks you to not fear pain and to use it as a gateway to true compassion. So like I was saying, holding space for someone, right? You don't have to run away from them. You can sit with them and not let it, not let it penetrate your energy. Cause like, if you let it penetrate your energy, that can become toxic, but to sit with them compassionately with love and with understanding and allow them to go through their shit, right? That's holding space. That is true compassion. And yes, as you guys all know, we are 
all connected. It's what I call the network, right? Like the grand network or energy network anyway. We're all part of the same network because we are all a part of each other, right? Everything is one, one is everything, right? Anyway, so moving on. Um, let's look at this because I felt that like, like massive dumping. You might be experiencing this with people around you. And some of you, like I said, for March, we're going to feel this need to kind of like be in our bubble and work on our shit. And then we're going to come out to network with people. When we come out to network, when we come out to talk, when we come out to get our shit going, we might experience a lot of people who are really struggling with doing this kind of healing because they haven't been doing it, right? Some of us have been really on top of it and other people haven't been. And so people who are doing this like quick, quick healing process, uh, it's going to look awful. I'm not going to lie. It's going to look awful. It's going to look awful. It's going to feel awful. We need to be able to hold space for them because all of us kind of need to get on the same page because time is running out. I keep wanting to say that. Time is running out. So anyway, let's go ahead and read that one. You guys are asking me time's running out for what? Oh, for all of us to get in the right place to ascend to a certain level, to get to that place of understanding, to get to our stations, to get our missions going and to do what we came here to do to do what we came here to do, okay? All right. You guys see it? All right. Whenever healing takes place, so does purging. This means that the old toxic energy has to be released. Often we inter we interpret this release as a sign that things are getting worse. They are not. Even on Earth now, as we are purging and transforming, it looks like we are getting sicker, but we are actually releasing a lot of old toxic energy. This card asks you to not fear this purging process because it is an essential part of transformation. In fact, seek it out. It's time to let go of some ancient patterns they have cared, carried for lifetimes. As they release, know that the purge is a good sign of healing. It's funny because <laughs> I know I mentioned earlier the thing that we were not going to talk about. At least I think I did. Again, this moment of like, I'm pretty sure I said this. I don't know if I said this, but I'm pretty sure I said this. Um, it does remind me of that. The thing that people are feeding a lot of fear into. I swore I said this. I'm having a weird timeline thing right now. Um, interesting. I hadn't looked at it that way. I'm, I'm kind of glad this card came out. I hadn't looked at it that way. The thing that everyone's so terrified of and falling. I, I was feeling honestly like falling prey to out of fear. And you know, they, we always say in the community, when good things are about to happen, when big, amazing, beautiful things are about to happen, sometimes it seems like really awful shit happens right before that. But really, is it really awful shit that's happening because good things are happening? Or is it a purging process that's happening to make space for the good thing? That might be what this is really all about. But the thing that we will not discuss. <laughs> okay? All right, guys. So that's it. This was a really interesting spread, a really interesting reading. I know I gave a lot of info. I was talking really fast. A lot of stuff came out. But I hope you guys found it insightful and helpful. And don't forget to check me out tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific time, uh, to talk about the full moon in Virgo and what's going to come with that and what to expect. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have a really great night. And I'll catch you soon. Namaste.